Hi Nigel, this is Paul from Logic Cafe. Um, I thought it'd be easy just to make a little video just to demonstrate how to use the environment that I've created for you. It's relatively simple. Um, this is the environment. The first thing you need to do is to create a, a new environment uh, window which um, you can copy this into. So you'd go to create layer and you can see I've created one um, called program change and that's where I've got the environment. Okay, so it, I, you know I would, re I would recommend that that's what you did. Um, the next thing you need to do is, is just to select all of the objects within my environment window and just copy them over to yours. So it's a simple ca case of um, c um, not control uh, command C, um, command V. You could do quite easily. Okay, once you're in there, it's very simple. You've got eight buttons, and each of these buttons is programmable to. Um, exactly what program change message you want to send. So here you can see, if I select button 1, you can see here that the range is 0 to 0. Now that will send program 1 on your uh, MOFO keyboard, or if, if you've got the small MOFO synth, and um, that will say, send number 1. So equally, if this was at number 1, it would program change to program number 2 on your MOFO. Okay. So I've just set that to 1, so you can see that's how it works. So if I was to click on number 1, that's the program, ch program change message it would send. Okay, the next thing you need to do to get set up is make sure you're, you've got another environment window open with your click and ports on it. Now the click and ports section contains all the information um, about the setup with it that you have within Logic. And what you need to do is take the cable from two sequencer input from the environment window that I've made and take it to sequencer input in the click and ports section. And that connects the two. Now the beauty of this is that it means that any other um, MIDI controlled synthesizer that you have, you can use this on basically. Every channel you've got selected will be um, subject to change via this. Okay. So, if we want to, I'm just going to play a melody, um, I'm not going to play the loop, I'm just going to play the, the four bars, let's take the loop off. I'm going to play the melody, it's a very, it's a poor melody, it's just something I was using to play about with, so please don't judge it. Okay, I'm going to press play now and you'll hear it. And you'll, you'll hear that when I press one of the buttons, any one of the buttons, any one of the buttons, it will change as it goes along. So I'll, I'll play it and then you'll see that it will change to the, the defaults that I've set for each one. Okay, so that defaulted, that was just a quick demonstration of, of, of how it works. Now you can actually record these messages. Because this is going to the sequencer input here, it will literally record all of the changes uh, that you make as you go along. So if I pr quickly press record and then record some of the changes, you'll hear it. Okay, so if I play that back, we should have the record change, the, the program change messages. So there we go, that's your environment. It's nice and simple. And I do apologise for the Twitter messages that have been <laughs> appearing in the corner as we've gone along. Okay, I hope this is uh, simple enough. And then, um, yeah, enjoy it. Thanks.